Somewhere there, okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's called a B-O-T-E, boat. I know, someone tried to tell me it was spelled B-O-A-T. I was like, no, that's spelled Boat. No, it's not French. Anyway, a couple quick safety reminders. Keep the Boat out of flow at. Uh, please remain fully seated on your back pockets at all times. Keep all hands, arms, feet, legs, anything else that you want to keep inside the boat. Uh, make sure you watch whoever you came with and keep those face covers over your nose and under your chin the entire cruise. Otherwise, they do stop the boat and we all stare at you awkwardly. Excellent. All right, now that we are all seated, we are clear to go. Beep, beep. All right, everyone, pick up your favorite hand, wave goodbye to the dock. That's weird. Wave goodbye to the skipper's on dock. That makes so much more sense. You're never going to see them again. Not that you ever saw them before, it's okay. Welcome to the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Deb and I will be your skipper for the next five exciting days and ten romantic nights. Yeah, that's great. We're going to start our journey off right here in the Amazon rainforest where it rains 365 days a year. That is almost every single day. I know. On either side of the boat, you're going to see some of our beautiful margarine flies. Now I know what you're all thinking. I can't believe it's not butterflies. I know, me either. It's terrible. Yeah, right here we have Inspiration Falls. Uh, now, a lot of people do ask me, Skipper Deb, why is it called Inspiration Falls? That is an excellent question. We have found that the longer you stare at it, the more it inspires you to go. Deeper and deeper into the jungle. Yeah. Everybody say, ooh. ooh. Everybody say, ah. Uh inspiration if I've ever heard it. We're going to keep going. Yeah, we're now turning on to the Congo River. We're going to see just how far we Congo. Now the Pygmies did plan a welcoming party for you up here on the beach. You know, food, dancing, music, great time really. It's going to be awesome. That's a little awkward. Yeah, I can't see anyone. Canoe? Oh, I wonder I could have scared them off. Funny. Who knows? Oh, hey, look at that. It's a python. Um, now, I know that's a python and not a boa, because it's got no feathers. Yeah, just don't get too close, okay? He'll develop a crush on you, and we don't want to get wrapped up in that relationship. That can be very constricting. Yeah. We have to swing by my camp real quick. i got to pick up a couple things. And... Never mind. This is what happens when you leave the door to the jungle unlocked. But you know what? On the bright side, I could not get that Jeep started this morning, and it does look like they got it to turn over for me. Yeah, I must have used a monkey wrench. Okay, on that note, we are going to turn down the Nile River. It was getting a little loud. Yeah, now just up ahead here, that is the second most feared animal of the jungle. That is an African bull elephant. And he's not there. That's awkward. All right, he's probably hiding. Yeah, you can still hear him. He's hiding in the trees, which can mean only one thing. It means that the most feared animal of the jungle is here. Yep, there she is. That's his mother-in-law. Very terrifying. Yeah. And then right behind me here, this is a sandstone rock formation. To point this out because a lot of people really take it for granted. I think it's one of our bolder attractions though, so I always like to take a moment and just marvel at it. Yeah. All right, well, we've reached the African Belt. It's an immense grassland, home to all sorts of animals. Now, this pride alliance here, they're enjoying their favorite meal zebra on the rocks. Yeah. It's a little hard to eat a zebra, you know, you gotta separate it out. You got light meat, dark meat, light meat, dark meat, light meat, dark meat, tail, zebra. Every other, every other white meat. Oh, hey, look at this. I've been looking for this safari for weeks. I'm so glad we found them. Yeah, but you know what? That rhino doesn't look too happy, so uh, we should probably come back just a little bit later, you know, let him get his point across, uh, which he will do in the end, I think. Actually, you know what? What a rhino. All right, as we turn the corner here, straight ahead of us is now Schweitzer Falls. It is named after the famous explorer and founder of the Jungle Navigation Company, Dr. Albert Falls. Yes, exactly. Uh, now, I have been told that more water goes over these falls in one minute than a person drinks in their entire lifetime. I don't know about you, but I do find that really hard to swallow. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that myth, though, that it's just home to 6,000 different varieties of jungle bacteria. You're welcome. Now, a lot of people do ask me how I landed my job here at the Jungle Cruise, and I do think it is pretty plain to 
lately so he does have a special deal going on two of his heads for just one of yours any takers excellent you can go see the head department you know just up ahead um, no matter how you slice it or dice it you're going to come out ahead it's really a great deal yeah and with that we are approaching the most dangerous part of our journey the return to civilization yeah, so stay fully seated, keeping those hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. We don't want to scratch the dock. It's very hard to replace. Yeah, just had it redone. So, um, And make sure you're still watching whoever you came with. You know, parents watch kids. Kids watch your parents. You know, someone has to. They're the real troublemakers here. And if you laughed today, thank you so much for laughing. If you didn't, this was a very awkward 10 minutes of you staring at me. Don't worry, I felt it too, it's okay. Um, really though, I gotta tell you, you've all been outstanding. Out of all the crews I have had today, you guys have definitely been the most recent. Yeah, and I mean that every time I say it. Yeah, now uh, just up ahead here, you're gonna see a dock on the left and a dock on the right. That can be very confusing sometimes. That's what we like to call a paradox. Yeah, 
And then you're going to see two skippers. They're going to step into the boat to help you out. That's what we like to call them paradorks. Uh, now, you know what? We did laugh together. We cried together. With my driving, there were a few moments, I would say, you know, that we very nearly died together. And that makes us kind of like a little family, wouldn't you say? Yeah. But just like any family in the Magic Kingdom, 10 to 12 minutes inside of a confined space, it's really just too much. Get out. <laughs> no, wait, I'm sorry. That was rude. Let me try again. Please get out. There we go. Nailed it. Yeah. Go ahead and stand up. That's not a joke. It will put all balance. Thank you for the video. Thank you. Exit on the same way you came in. Don't cross over to the center of grace. Make sure to tell all your friends about your experience here. Now, I'll keep the waiting.